Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This time, the presidential brokies will be making a hot dog tier list. Comment what video idea you want to see next. The rankings go from S tier to trash tier, with S tier being the highest and trash tier being the lowest. Make sure to give that like button a little kiss for me. Now, this is a tier list I've been waiting to hot digity dog dive into. Did you know I'm a world ranked hot dog eating competitor? Glad I beat George on the coin toss to moderate this hot dog tier list. I'm just pissed Snoop flaked on us for this one. His takes would have been hot, dog. You know what I'm saying? Up first, the classic beef hot dog. Oh, the classic beef dog. Let me tell you, folks, T classic hot dog. It's the epitome of American greatness when it comes to sausage inserted in between bread. You've got the juicy beef, the soft bun, perfect harmony. And don't get me started on the toppings. You can go simple with mustard and ketchup. The classic beef dog is the perfect naked palate to dress up. Agreed, D. It's a timeless choice. Simple yet satisfying. I'll give it a solid A to you. You're not giving enough cred to the beef hot dog, Obama. Place some respect on its name. Call me old-fashioned, but I appreciate the simplicity of a classic beef hot dog. It's a dependable choice. This is an S tier. <laughs> I'm with you, George. It's the one hot dog everyone can agree on. Jill keeps a classic beef hot dog in her purse. So when I get hangry and throw a tantrum, she tosses one of these my way, and I'm happy and settled like a baby to a pacifier. All right, Joey boy. Chill with the baby talk. But can agree with you boys. This one is deserving of S-tier status. Next up, the New York style hot dog. Joe, what are your Alzheimer ridden thoughts on this one? Uh, the Big Apple's pride and joy. Tangy mustard, zesty sauerkraut. It, it's a flavor explosion. The sauerkraut's boldness, boldness. Dancing with the yellow mustard goodness is good, but not as elite as other hot dog flavor flavors. Mm. I appreciate the effort, but it's a bit too much for me to be honest. I love the New York vibe, but sometimes less is more. New York style, baby. It's like a flavor parade in your mouth, but I'm not down with sauerkraut all the time. This goes into B tier onto the Chicago style hot dog. Obama, since you're from Chi Town, I'm sure you have some strong opinions on this one. Now, this is a hot dog that brought to legendary greatness and put Chicago on the map. Chicago style hot dogs are a true culinary masterpiece. You've got the poppy seed bun, the perfectly grilled Vienna beef hot dog, and then, of course, the toppings. Mustard, onions, sweet pickle relish, tomato slices, pickles, sport peppers, and a sprinkle of celery salt. Each ingredient adds its own unique flavor and texture. It's a symphony of taste, a reflection of the vibrant culture and diversity of my hometown. Oh, yes, Obamna. Remember when you took me to your favorite hot dog spot in Chi Town? As I suckled on the tip of that Chicago-style hot dog, I felt the community and tradition. It's a symbol of the city's rich culinary heritage and the pride that Chicagoans take in their food, whether you're enjoying one at a ball game, a neighborhood barbecue, or a local hot dog stand. It's a shared experience that brings people together. This dog brings with it pure bliss. Chicago style is an attempt at hot dog artistry, but a little too frou-frou. For me, with it's the celery salt and crap, it's trying too hard. Shut it, W. Chicago style hot dog brings people together one celery salt bite at a this time. This is obviously a sad, overly progressive hot dog. The Chicago style hot dog is barking its way into D tier, would go trash tier, but putting a little respect on your name, Obama, and your hometown. Up next, the chili cheese hot dog, the alpha dog of dogs as some would day. What do you boys think? Now we're talking comfort food. The hearty chili, the gooey cheese, it's warm, spicy goodness slopped on a beef dog nestled in a thick bun to support its girth makes this one a top dog. Mm. Agreed, Joe. But the chili cheese dog has its flaws too. But the cheese melted all over the chili is a guilty pleasure of hot dog lovers everywhere. It's indulgent and satisfying but only flawed if the undercarriage or bun holding it is wet and too moist to hold the damn hot dog and can be a messy flop. You know how many chili stained shirts Laura has had to wash? For that, I vote a chili tier. Chili cheese, the rebel of the hot dog world. It's bold, it's messy, it's everything you want, but the mushy bun risk factor has down to B tier. Now let's dive right in with our more ethnic dogs, the Hawaiian hot dog. What do you all think? Aloha, flavor explosion. 
pineapple, teriyaki sauce, it's a tropical party in your mouth. The Hawaiians got it right, and this is an island delight. Hawaiian hot dog, a sweet and savory surprise. It's like a luau in a bun, but the stickiness of the pineapple can be off-putting, so this one is a controversial dog. Just for the exotic flair, I'll say soft B, hard C Pineapple tier. on a hot dog? Madness. It's kind of like sacrilege, right? I want to hate it, but secretly love Hawaiian hot dogs. B boop dot dot him torn, but I have to admit, the combination works surprisingly well. Well, this tastes like crap, and the sauce makes it all too heavy. I don't need congealed pineapple on my dog. Onto the buffalo hot dog. George, what's your verdict? Buffalo hot dog, a fiery fiesta for your taste buds. Spicy buffalo sauce, creamy blue cheese. It's a flavor explosion. Yeehaw. This is a cowboy's buffalo hot dog. Buffalo hot dog, bring in the heat. It's like a flavor punch in the face in a good way. And I get punched in the face often, so I would know. Too <laughs> spicy for my liking. And blue cheese, absolutely not. I don't want moldy cheese on my hot dog. Why would I want to taste ass on in my dog? Blue cheese is an overwhelming fail and doesn't add anything to the beefy flavor. Trash tier. Now let's wrangle the Texas BBQ hot dog. Obama, what's your opinion? Ah, uh, finally, a hot dog with some respect for tradition. BBQ sauce, coleslaw. It's a taste of the Lone Star State. The smoky flavor mixed with the creamy mayo chilling the coleslaw slathered on a beefy dog is- Well, let me tell you, partner, there ain't nothing like a good old Texas BBQ style hot dog. It's like a taste of home wrapped in a bun. You got your smoky barbecue sauce, your tangy coleslaw, maybe even some crispy onions on top, paired perfectly with an iced cold brewski, S tier. BBQ on a hot dog, sign me up. It's smoky, it's savory, the big cowboy flavor never disappoints. Is it weird that I love eating Texas BBQ hot dogs in my underwear, cowboy hat, and my Lucas cowboy boots? My fave way to eat this dog. Okay, okay, Texas brings home a medal. He'll throw the Texas BBQ style hot dog in a tier. Finally, last for ranking, the Sonoran hot dog. Sonoran hot dog, a spicy sensation wrapped in bacon. Pinto beans, jalapeno salsa. It's a flavor fiesta, but the beans make me fart, and Jill hates when I eat this. See, every time I indulge in one of those Sonoran beauties, it's like a symphony of flavors in my mouth. But then, a few hours later, it's like a symphony of, uh, well, let's just say it's not music to anyone's ears if you catch my drift. Stinky air drift. Look, folks, life's too short to let a little gas get in the way of enjoying a good hot dog. And let me tell you, the Sonoran style is worth every toot, I mean bite. Sonoran hot dog? Who would even invented these? Wrapped in bacon, loaded with beans and salsa. That sounds like a recipe for disaster, if you ask me. None of that bean-filled jalapeno nonsense. This is crap. Bacon wrapped and loaded with flavor. What's not to love? This is a southwestern delight in sandwich form. I love some beans with my dog. All right, this Sonoran shit gets D tier. It's awful, but the relief you get from eating this as an instant toot reliver saves it from trash tier. Nothing like the pleasure of feeling, feeling warm air squeeze through my ass cheeks. Toot, toot, and goodbye, folks. This was a great debate amongst the three presidential brokies, and we thank you all for watching. Hit that bell notification so you can see when we drop new videos, and consider joining the group membership so that you can vote on polls and what direction the channel will go in. Also, if you didn't know, we are real estate agents in New Jersey and New York states. That's why we're so broke. We work on 100% commission, but our contact info is in the description as well in case someone wants to work with some real deal closers. Another thing, we also have a full tutorial for people who want to make faceless AI videos and the link to access that knowledge is in the description. The power is in the people. Have a great night.